minus minus 166 centimeters. We are slowly moving up the measurement stick. And once again here, we have competitors from all across Europe. And we have our first and I think only Romanian yeah. at this year's Loaded Cup. We will see her with number 235, Domitrescu Dilia. Tia Hanna Tostalova from the Czech Republic. Two Lithuanians, Evelina Naujanaite and Barbara Kolokovskaya. From Netanya, also 232, Barbara Kolokovskaya. And then we have the two Danes, Helene Hüttmann. And Stine Reitz Sörensen. From Romania, 235. And here is our the Romanian Dumitrescu Utilia. And besides her, the Czech Republic's Andrea Sivakova. And the Czech Republic's again, Barbara Tavova. This is our first category today, and one of the only categories this loaded cup without any German participants. Oh. And make sure that you have the next competitor on your list. And this we do not have on our list, so I might be wrong. Viola Schulz from Germany, 242. And there's our German, 242, who is not on our list either. Viola Schulz. And this must be a error as well on the judges scorecard we have a copy up here of yeah. uh, the judges scorecard and viola schultz was not on that but uh, good to see that they uh, caught that they nipped it in the bud and uh, that should not affect in any way the interesting thing about of course a pre-judging session like this is that now we can now we can we know what we're looking for we look at here in the minus 166 centimeter category, we know sort of where the judges lie, and we can begin to scout out for ourselves and see who are the most defined girls in this class. Yeah. And uh, on this big screen, my eyes definitely are drawn towards uh, the Danes, the United Sons, and in the middle in the blue bikini. She looks good, yeah. And the girls are left, uh, the Romanian too. And the Romanian Dumitrescu Otilia also as well in the light blue so these are our first five posers by number. Hanna Dostalova out on your right, then Evelina Now United, Barbara Kolokovskaya, Helene Hütman, and Stine Reit Sörensen. Of course, the women here. We haven't talked about this, but the women have, of course, some advantage and some disadvantage in terms of uh, in terms of the chest. In that you are looking, if you're going for a symmetrical look, you're going for the V shape. Mm. Then, of course, uh, th uh, the chest size plays a part of this. Yeah, it does. Uh, and uh, and and some of these girls, as we can see, uh, are very large chested, and some of them are are not as much. Um of course it's very it's it's very difficult yeah. for 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 uh, for the women to to do anything about this how does it play a part in uh, in the judging or are the judges instructed to sort of avoid that area and go almost straight from from shoulder to midriff well on on paper it wouldn't matter but as you say you can't uh, you can't help but but noticing when a girl is a bit small chested compared to the girl next to her, because you want to have that illusion of that slim waist compared to the shoulder mm -hmm. region. And especially in the side poses, we can see it, where you'll tend to look a bit flat all the way through mm -hmm. if you don't have some chest development. I'll say our girl number 236. Looking very fine here too. Yes, that is the Czech Republic's Andrea Sivakova. Besides her, we saw the Romanian Dumitrescu Utilia. Then in the middle, in the blue bikini, it is uh, Barbara Votavova. Out 
Besides her is the Dutch Vindy Bergwijn and all the way to your left the late competitor uh, Viola Schulz from Germany. We see her here in the purple bikini. And as we talked about yesterday as well, some of these girls are tattooed and some are not. Again, it's something that uh, is not supposed to influence the judging, but can hide some definition. Yeah. Uh, especially, uh, especially with the with the tan, and uh, and if things starts to uh, if the tan starts to disappear or starts to there starts to be some liquid or or some some sweating or something in in the bright lights. Yeah. Well, if you have two uh, two competitors at the same score, mm. uh, stuff like tattoo and skin tone and Stuff like that might be the deciding factor. Yes. The girls in this class seem a bit more similar in due uh, in terms of uh, condition than uh, the former classes we have seen, where we have seen a wider, wider span between the most mm. conditioned and the least conditioned girls than we see here. And once, and this will of course make it more difficult for the judges. To uh, to pick out the uh, the six best yeah in a category like this because and we can see the judges are taking that time now yes in the other categories it was pretty clear that the judges they know what they were looking for and they had at least four or five maybe sometimes six where they could immediately go okay this is the look that I want yeah and as expected we see uh, Stine. Sørensen, the first call out here. And we get 2.30, Hanna Dostalova. 2.34, Stina Reitzonsen. 2.36, Andrea Sivakova. 2.37, Barbara Motavova. So once again, we see the line of the judges being continued in in terms of the most conditioned girls being in the first call out. Yes, and it was Viola Schulz at 2.42 at the end as well. And these are very defined. We can see it here in the back. Some of, uh, especially our uh, German on the right, Viola Schulz looks a bit uh, a bit bigger yeah. than the Danish competitor, uh, who looks uh, very, uh, very slim, also in body type. Um, and this, of course, um, this has pluses and minuses. Yeah. Um, the very, the, the bigger build, of course, uh, for the German Viola Schulz makes it so that there is a much more extreme gap between a wider shoulder part at, uh, and the stomach part. But of course, it can also it can also draw back in that it might be it might be too much, it might be too big. Yeah, because then again, you want the structure to make that illusion of that V shape. You mm. don't want it to be pure muscle that makes your back look wide. You want to have that natural slim waist making your back look wide. Yes, instead of the back making the the midsection look small, you yeah. want the midsection to make the back look wide. Yeah, and that's where this separates itself from bodybuilding. Because yes. in bodybuilding, you'd want your back to make your your waist look slim. Exactly, we saw that uh, we saw that yesterday, where uh, in the bodybuilding classes, some of the backs were almost as wide as the stage. Yeah. And then again, it's. Very clear that these girls are a bit less conditioned than the girls in the first co first call out. Yes, the judges' line has definitely been put down in uh, in this pre-judging uh, category. Yeah, which will make it interesting to see later today in the finals if uh, if that line continues. Yeah, if and that if uh, if they are going for the hardest competitor in the division, mm. or if they have some uh, gold middle way in there, and they're going for. Use the the average conditioning in the finals, mm. where we have the six best conditioned girls. Yes, and this is once again one of the things where the criteria can suddenly change when we go from 15 girls to six girls. Yeah. 